Hello, this is Robert Redfern, editor of Serapeptase News. As you may have gathered, we're pretty passionate about what we do. The fuel that drives the passion is the feedback that comes in every day from users getting real results. To be fair, I do get the odd email saying it didn't work for them. Sometimes they've let me help them find out what was needed to make it work, and sometimes they tell me to take a hike. Then I need some feedback fuel. Sometimes we get great results, and that person becomes so passionate, they practically become an extension of me. Such a person is Perry Elrod. It seems like every day someone calls to order serapeptase and say, Perry sent me. In Perry's own words, about five years ago, I was diagnosed with venous stasis ulcers on my lower legs and ankles. I fought the ulcers for nearly three years before they finally healed. A vascular surgeon explained that these ulcers were caused by a lack of venous blood flow in my legs. The veins were clogged and blood could not circulate to the outside of my legs and allowed these sores to heal. He told me that the condition was not reversible and my best hope was to wear support hose for the rest of my life, just to slow down the process and hopefully avoid amputation. Another option was to run a laser on the veins that were stopped up and simply burn them out. This would not really help the condition, but would relieve some of the pressure built up by the clogged veins. Neither of these options were much interest to me. I tried the stockings, but found them of no help. My legs, although the sores were healed, were in terrible shape. Around the first of this year, and several new ulcers appeared. In February, one of them became infected and I was hospitalized with severe swelling and cellulitis. Just before I went into hospital, I added two enzymes to my regime of herbs and vitamins. The two I added were serapeptase and natokinase. I didn't take them during the week I was in hospital, but restarted when I got home. For a week, I took three serapeptase three times a week. For the next two weeks, I took two capsules three times a day. And after that, I took, after that, I took two twice a day. The vascular surgeon had told me that they could do a test using ultrasound to see how, uh, where the bad veins were so that I could make a decision about the laser burning procedure. At the end of May, I finally decided to go to get the test. The ulcer had already healed and my legs were looking and feeling much better. But the doctor and his staff were amazed as I was when after two hours of exhausting hunting they could not find one single bad vein. During the test, I mentioned the enzymes that had been taking and the technician told the doctor's assistant about it. When I, came out, when I came out of the test room, she called me to another room and wanted to know about the serapeptase and natokinase. Perhaps my experience can help others who formerly had no help. Like you, I have heard and read about miracle potions that are supposed to heal everything imaginable. I have read testimonials and looked at the pictures. I took all of this with a grain of salt. Some I tried and could tell no difference, some I ignored. This, however, is different. Instead of just hearing about it, it happened to me, and medical testing proved the medically impossible had happened. I am now a believer in these enzymes. I personally highly recommend the enteric coated serapeptase capsules with MSM and 73 trace minerals. Sincerely, Perry Elrod. The good news is, that I've developed a new powerful serapeptase natokinase, natokinase, hard one that one, natokinase formulation all in one bottle with other powerful enzymes. So it can be taken in one go. Also in his letter, Perry used the word amputation. And just for clarification, many people with this problem are threatened with amputation and they could be saved. So if you know anyone with such vascular problems, do them a favor and let them know the solution. With kindest and healthiest regards, Robert Redfern. But P.S. Thanks for your emails of concern regarding the London bombing. We are safe here in the Cheshire countryside, but our hearts go out to the victims and their families in London.